Hello, ni hao. I'm Philip Duncan from Weather Watch TV on YouTube as we take a look at Super Typhoon Yagi. This was the placement of it at noon Friday New Zealand time or eight o'clock Friday local time. A major typhoon. Now, the title Super Typhoon depends on which forecaster you use. Some of them、uh, don't use the the title Super Typhoon. It's just Typhoon Yagi. But either way, this is a major storm. Now it is weakening a little bit. But it's not going to weaken properly until a few more days away, when it's moving in towards Vietnam. So for now, this is a major storm system tracking into some very populated places. Some good news: Hong Kong up here to the northeast. Well, this storm is slowly moving away from you, so it may well be very windy and wet across Hong Kong today. But it is moving westwards towards these more populated areas to the southwest. So this is the tracking so far in the blue line here, and where it's going. In the pink line, so it's come out of、uh, the Pacific, obviously crossed over the Philippines. It was deadly when it passed over the Philippines, and that was while it was still a tropical storm. It hadn't even reached the typhoon status.、Uh, now out to sea, super typhoon south of Hong Kong, and it's going to weaken a little bit over the next day or so. Weakens properly though over the weekend once it finally does move into Vietnam and around the、uh, China border. So let's take a look at the progress of it, and starting with our our map from three o'clock this afternoon New Zealand time, or eleven o'clock this morning locally. So the storm very damaging. This whole area here, where I'm circling inwards, is where the most damaging part of the storm is around the yellow、uh, shading and the and the red shading in here. So that means it's just starting to come into these coastal areas by the time we get into late morning. So about lunchtime is when the damaging portion of it starts to move in,、uh, especially here to Hainan Province. Ten million people living here on this island, and up here in Haiko,、uh, you're talking about three million people in the capital. Just across the strait, we're into Lajo Peninsula. 5.6 million people here. This whole area is sort of like the Hawaii of China. It is full of resorts, beaches, and tourists. Tourists being told to stay in their hotels as the storm comes directly in. So as we come in towards sunset locally here,、uh, you'll start to see those damaging winds push further in across Hainan Island, about halfway into it, and just now starting to come in further to Lajo Peninsula. So we're talking multi millions of people already now into that damaging portion of it. And on top of the damaging winds, you've got the storm surge coming through, where the storm itself sucks the sea up a bit higher than usual, and on top of that, massive waves. And、uh, a much bigger tide. So we are dealing with coastal inundation in some areas, and、uh, also erosion as the storm system tracks on through. So tonight, getting closer to midnight here, local time, that's when、uh, the storm is expected to be crossing through the strait between the two main areas. Now that still means that the damaging winds carry on to the north and to the south, and potentially that body of warm water here just keeping more energy、uh, through the centre part of the storm. Now tomorrow morning, as we、uh, five o'clock in the morning here locally, that's nine a.m. New Zealand time where I am.、Uh, the storm is still very deep. Typhoon is still into that nine fifty category range as far as the air pressure, and we've still got damaging winds, damaging rain across both Lajo Peninsula and the northern part of Hainan、uh, Province. So we are going to be seeing damaging weather lasting about eighteen hours, starting about lunchtime today locally. And lasting through till around about sunrise on Saturday. Now, the good news for China, or for much of China, is that by the end of Saturday, it's clearing away. It is still affecting、uh, the southwestern corner here, coming into Vietnam. And the next problem will be for Vietnam with flooding, because this、uh, typhoon is going to come inland, fall apart, lose the wind, and dump all that tropical rain. So the Red River running through Hanoi may well see some problems over the next day or so ahead. So let's have a look at the rainfall. This is it for the next three days. The areas here in the dark blue, sort of a streak of it here, coming through northern parts of Hainan Island. You're talking 300 to 400 millimeters. That is a lot of rain falling in a short time. Landslides, mudslides, flooding—all a possibility there. And remember, that's just for three days. It doesn't show you what happens out here over Vietnam in the days ahead.
Just finally, let's have a look at the wind gust map. Uh, this is from the weather company and it shows you how it tracks just straight through the strait there or potentially going a little bit further into Lejo. But these storms can wobble. They can shift a little further north and south. And so, uh, you know, anywhere really, anywhere in this whole southwestern corner is at risk of damage over the next 24 to 48 hours as uh, Super Typhoon Yagi moves through. That is all from us. Stay safe. We'll see you again. If we need to do another update, we will. Otherwise, this was our only update on Super Typhoon Yagi.